What is the difference between vinegar and acetic acid? Vinegar used in the kitchen contains only a small percentage of acetic acid, ranging from 4% to 7% ascent acetic acid. However, the percentage of concentrated acetic acid reaches 99% of the acid. In the first experiment, we will get two empty glasses. We'll empty 250 milligrams of concentrated acetic acid into one and put kitchen vinegar into the other. Then we prepare acid reagent paper for testing and its grades range from one to 14. If it is above seven, it is basic, and if it is less than seven, it is acidic. Each degree has its color. The first thing we notice is that the reagent paper in the regular vinegar from home started to turn a little red and reached level four. This means a pH level of four. Now we will try to put the reagent paper in a sick acid. I'm 100% sure the paper will get red in an instant. What is this? He didn't blush. But I'm going to try putting some acidic acid with some water, and we're going to test again and put the test paper in. And we'll find here that the paper has turned red and the pH is 3. It becomes clear to us here that a sick acid is an acid but without the effect of acid. How is that? It has become clear to me, after researching reliable sources, that the matter is simple, my friend, which is that the acidity of a sick acid cannot be determined without mixing it with hydrogen. Hydrogen is what reveals the pH. If we want to detect the pH of any acid, only the positive hydrogen ion can tell us the pH. If it contains a lot of hydrogen, it is very acidic, and if it contains hydroxide, it is basic. That's why when we added water, the reagent paper started to turn red. This was an experiment to find out the difference between acetic acid and homemade Please vinegar. Please look out for my next video. Thank you for watching.